If you are, quote, a hardcore software engineer, then Tesla is looking for you. See that? <laughs> the electric car company wants to add thousands of new jobs in the next few years as it attempts to fend off a growing list of competitors that includes, of course, Apple, Google, and a bunch of Chinese startups. But will Tesla be able to attract the best of the best now that the space is becoming increasingly crowded? Joining us to discuss, Thor Busey, director at recruiting firm Riviera Partners, matches up a lot of Silicon Valley firms. It certainly is getting competitive out there, Thor. Does Tesla have an edge because of its celebrity CEO, Elon Musk? I think they certainly have, I think they've got something great going on. They, they do have a great leader. They've got a great technical challenge in front of them as far as trying to solve a very technical, technical challenge. And that's, that's really what engineers are looking for. And quite frankly, Tesla's got a great brand. I mean, you see them all over the Bay Area. They're gorgeous to look at, they're gorgeous to drive. It's, a, it's an interesting project. Who, who are they competing with for this talent? I mean, we already know that, what, Google has accused them of, of cherry picking some of their best talent. Uh, but, but otherwise, who, who are we com talking about uh, Tesla competing with for these engineers? Well, the engineers that they're looking for is, it's a subset of a larger engineering community. So there isn't a lot of engineers that have the skill set they're looking for. They're looking for everyone that has skill sets and everything from deep learning to natural language processing to everything else that encompasses various AI. And they're competing with everybody from Baidu to Google, as you said, for that yeah. talent. And it's, but that said, there's different ways to groom and grow that talent, which is what I think Elon Musk may want to, may be thinking about doing as he's hiring a lot of people. You know, you, you mentioned that they may have an advantage, but you know, even with all this attention on, on Elon Musk help want ad or whatever this was, we're only talking about a relatively small number of individuals that they actually need to hire at a high level. I mean, how many potential qualified people would there be for these jobs? Is it really uh, kind of a direct head-to-head -head competition for every single one of these individuals, or are there really, you know, ample supply of people who could do this work? I don't think it's a, I don't think they need to have everyone in the industry. What I think they need to do is I think they need to find a few key individuals that have proven themselves in the space, get a couple of them on board, and then build out a, a team around those individuals. And I think that's how they can, how they can compete with Google and Apple and, and find a place within the market. So Tesla has 1,600 open positions, Mike, to your point. Obviously, there's a lot of demand for talented software engineers in Silicon Valley and, and Musk said himself you don't have to have experience with cars required wants the code sample how, how much demand is there for software engineers and are there enough software engineers to fill that demand well there's a lot of there's a lot of demand for software engineers. software software is currently powering everything from cars to medicine to energy these days and it's the types of engineers because there's a lot of different types of engineers and to, to, to build the software that's, that Elon needs to build for, the soft, for these cars, it is a much smaller market. I think that it requires a certain amount of creativity to get the engineers to do it, but I do think it requires a certain amount of, hey, I, let's, let's get a few key people and let's build people, let's build teams around them, and that's, that's really what I think it comes down to. And I think that's how you combat this, the demand, really. All right, well, we'll see how this works out. Uh, Musk has said that he'll have an uh, autonomous car on the market in two years. We'll see if that can work out. Thor Busey, good to see you. Thanks for joining us.